on the fly today because we're going to trade between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Chicago Blackhawks. So the Leafs do receive Jake McCabe at 50% retained, as well as Sam Lafferty, a 2024 fifth round pick that's conditional. It will be the lower of the two Chicago fifth round picks in 24, as well as a 2025 fifth round pick, which is also conditional. The conditions have yet to be announced, however, and at the time they're making this video, it doesn't appear that they're going to be announcing it anytime soon. So the conditions are probably going to be very similar to that 24 fifth round pick where it'll be the best or the worst. Just sort of depends on what the Blackhawks decide on that. But what the Blackhawks do receive is Joey Anderson as well as Pavel Gogolov who aren't really going to provide too much of a punch. Anderson's really the only guy who I could see actually cracking the Blackhawks squad anytime in the future. But at the same time, not really important there. What we are looking at is the conditional 2025 first round pick, top 10 protected, as well as a 2026 second round pick. So we take a look at this deal for both teams. Obviously, the Blackhawks in the middle of a rebuild, so what they're trying to do is get as many picks. And it's a 2025 pick, so it's very far into their future. However, it does sort of line up with their goals, what they're trying to do. But at the same time, there's still quite a few moves to be made for the Blackhawks. Patrick Kane is still one of the big ones. So it's going to be interesting to see whether this condition here, which is yet to be announced, sort of relies on that Patrick Kane deal. Might be a 2025 fifth round pick coming back, and that's where this 2024 fifth round pick condition, where they haven't announced it yet, might kick in. But it's going to be interesting to see sort of where that goes. The first round pick, top 10 protected in 25. So we'll see if the Blackhawks are going to be able to get that. I don't really see the Leafs having too much of a problem in 25. That's two years away. So with that being said, I don't see that being too big of an issue. I believe the Leafs in two years will still be in the playoffs. If they aren't, I think they made a massive mess up. But at the same time, the Leafs bolstering up deep playoff run in, I'd argue, probably the most competitive conference in history with... You have all these teams, you look up and down. Tampa, who they're going to have to play in the first round, making their moves this week. You have Boston, who's made their moves. And all these teams, as you look towards the playoffs, it's going to be a cutthroat conference this year. And I'm very much looking forward to it. It's probably going to be the best because when you look at the top eight this year for betting odds, seven of them are Eastern Conference teams to win the Stanley Cup, with one being Colorado. So it's going to be very interesting to see what goes on there one of the best conferences we'll see in a very, very long time. So I'm very excited to see that. The Leafs bolstering up their defense with Jake McCabe. I do expect McCabe to provide quite a bit of punch for the Leafs. I think that's what they need. They need a little, a little bit more of that toughness. They locked, lost Jake Muzzin to injury. So we'll see if he can sort of fill that role. Coming in at 50% retained, going to be a big steal. You also have two more years at the end uh, after this year of Jake McKay, where I would assume at least they'd re-sign him long term. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the Leafs can do there. Sam Lafferty, I think, is a good pickup for the Leafs. Sora will fly under the radar. I don't know if we'll see him in the NHL this year. He's coming in 1.15, another year on his contract. So we'll see if the Leafs once again want to resign him after their, after this year, after that year. We'll see if they want to resign him. I think Lafferty definitely has a spot in the Leafs' bottom six. We'll see if he can crack it. However, there's still plenty of time. And the one other thing I mentioned for the Leafs' pickup here, it all depends on this condition. I don't see the condition being too crazy. I don't think there's going to be some special thing. I think we're waiting on a Patrick Kane deal. Once Kane gets traded, I think this... Uh, the, this condition will be announced and I think what it's going to be is probably the better or the worst of two picks very similar to that of the 24 deal but with that being said we'll give the trade grades here I love the deal for both teams and this is one of the few times I'll say it I'm going to give them a B plus I'm going to give the Blackhawks a B plus you get what your money's worth the Leafs better win soon because they're starting to run out of talent running out of picks to, to trade away uh, and at the same time, you look at the rest of that division, the rest of that conference, the Leafs have to definitely step up their game if they want any shot at being Tampa round one. Boston most likely going to be round two. And then round three, you're looking at probably the Rangers or the, or the Hurricanes, who both bolstered up their team. So it's going to make for an incredible playoff run this year. I'm very much looking forward to it. As for the Blackhawks, also a B plus. Uh, they got pretty good value. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more for a guy like McCabe, especially in a defender, defender market where we've seen a lot of crazy deals. But at the same time, good pickup for the Blackhawks. They got pretty good value for them. So for both teams, going to be a B plus. But with that, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to consider subscribing, tell all your friends to comment down below your thoughts on the trade. Until next time, see ya.